Well, you know, we're all affected. I think yesterday we started, should have started looking at alternatives and looking for good, sustainable jobs for people everywhere. In the fight against fascism in the 40s, the U.S. completely converted manufacturing to a wartime economy in less than a year. This is such a time. We have the capability and the capacity for the mass production of renewable and life-sustaining generation of electricity and of power. We must convert our economy from killer coal and purgatory petrol to an economy that supports the production of renewable, life-sustaining energy production. What about the jobs? What about the communities? What about the families that, are, that make their living off of these jobs? Aside from the fact that very few people choose to work a mile underground in lousy conditions for any boss, you do it because you have to feed yourself and your family. But don't kid yourself. I'll bet 95 out of 100 miners would choose working above ground in the daylight building or installing wood turbines or geothermal wells or community housing or railway lines than being a mile deep in the earth. But these guys have got a job over here. But what job is worth, no matter what the pay might be, is to put suffering on on your neighbor's uh, back, you know, and, and, and suffering on the community. And that's exactly what's happening. You're paying the true cost for their jobs over there. We are green and solar, we shall not be moved. Whoa, we are green and solar, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's standing on the water. We shall not be moved. Coal is our enemy. Coal is our enemy. We shall not be moved.